Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to an episode of Pokemon Go. In today's episode, it is Froki Community Day, which is super cool. So very excited for the possibility of a shiny Froki, brand new to the game, and has a fantastic shiny evolution in shiny Greninja. No shinies in that first batch, but the Go Plus was on nothing except a couple of days ago, uh, right after shooting my, like, welcome back, sort of, <laughs> um, video, I got a shiny on onyx in research, and then Go Plus Plus, a Hoppip, and a Chinchow. The Chinchow actually has good PvP IVs, which is super cool, and Professor Willow welcomes us back to the game and back to community days. Speaking of being seen, dun, 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 dun. mystery is what I haven't the froggiest what it could be. Hmm. I see what you did there. And basically, let's hop to it. Hop to Community Day, a bubbly disposition, very cool. But we also have a bunch of other things that I will be collecting throughout the day. And if I get anything cool, I'll pop back in. But basically, I'm going to pop a star piece, pop an incense, pop all that good stuff. And we'll also, of course, be looking for our first ever shiny Froki. And there are also quite a few routes in the area, which is super cool. Um, there's some raids, and of course the community is out and about for Community Day. But I think I'm going to kind of just do my own thing, solo adventure kind of a deal. Follow the route, see if I get uh, any like Zygarde cells or anything like that, which would be super cool. Um, also, you know, just kind of taking it slower or taking it faster depending on how I feel. Uh, but let's hop to it. Alright, so we are actually following one of the routes that have appeared along Disney Springs and let's freaking go shiny Froki number one of the day and they made these a lot more noticeable than in the mainline games. Let's go number one of the day following the route. So hopefully we will be getting like at least one Zygarde cell today which would be super super cool um, and we're making some progress. Very very cool. This is actually like not quite an XXL, but it's an XL. So that's super cool. So that could be like useful for some of the, uh, what you call it, contests in the game, which would be super cool. And just some checks on camera, no, but very cool. And Water Shuriken's already in the game, found out last night while playing PvP. Um, and we are heading that way back towards the route. Let's go! All right, so we just got Shiny Froki while we were inside of the tunnel. And number three on the incense on the other side of the tunnel. Let's go. That completes the family of Shiny Froki. But we're looking for, like, the best ones possible. I would love, love, love to get a Hundo Froki today. A Shundo Froki would be even cooler. Not that one. But let's freaking go. Very, very cool day uh, to come back to Pokemon Go and come back to like filming adventures so i'm very excited we are going to be going to new york go fest first like official announcement um so that's very cool and then of course new york go fest we're gonna have to clear out a bunch of space do a whole bunch of prep for go fest because it's gonna be crazy um, I have heard from some people that just got back from London Go Fest in the community how crazy the shiny rates are, uh, both in the city and in the actual event itself. So I'm very excited because I have gotten a few of the add-ons for the event, which is super cool. And I'm very, very excited. And of course, we will be going Global Go Fest right back here, uh, which is going to be even more amazing because we know how crazy it is here in Disney Springs. So that's gonna be super hype. But today, we're all about Froki and eventually getting the best possible Shiny Greninja that we could possibly get, hopefully. Coming to you live from the shade. Um, so we just did a Cresselia raid. I had to go plus plus go and so we'll be able to see like if we got anything cool afterwards. But for the first time, I'm seeing this looking for friends which is a new feature that happened while I was away. Um, so basically, you turn on your like, hey, do you want to like accept friend invites after the raid? And it looks like this, which is super cool. It shows you the team, it shows you like their avatar. Super, super cool. Very awesome. But let's go see if we got a shiny Cresselia. No, but 1606 sounds good. We'll 
We'll check in later. All right, so we are actually following a different route now, but I thought I had to transfer Pokemon. Apparently I have to power Pokemon up, and I have the perfect Pokemon to do that. If y'all remember this Greninja, this is the Greninja that me and John <laughs> have been slowly powering up over the course of like whenever Froakie came out because we both love Greninja so much. Um, and I got this 98 one, he got a different 98 one. And we've just been slowly powering them up, but I'm gonna take the big step forward and just, yeah, I did already use a lead fast game on it, so. Uh, but let's freaking go maxed out level 50 Greninja. Very, very cool. Water Shikuri can surf and Night Slash. I don't think I can use an Elite Charge TM yet. No, I have to wait until after Community Day to get the uh, Hydro Cannon. But I already did put uh, the other one on it. Currently following a route, which is super cool. And now we can go forward with our bubbly disposition. And we are looking for something in like the 420s or 430s. 406 is not going to cut it. I've been doing as many Froki tasks as possible to try and get this Shundo. Because um, I would love nothing more than to get a Shundo Greninja. Ridiculous. Very cool. 406, we got another, so close to the research button, my goodness. Another one, I'm trying to find, I'm trying to get in the shade. Uh, let's go, start encounter, 420, 430, and 401 not gonna be it. Oh, it's hot out here. It is the middle of Florida summer, and Florida summer ain't like any other summer, I'm telling you. Um, so I'm very excited to go hundreds of miles north to get out of some of this heat. Yeah, so like 401 just really ain't it. <laughs> I got the 10 10 10 earlier um, from one of the research encounters. Uh, what I'd like to see Froki up close. Froki secretes flexible bubbles from its chest and back. The bubbles reduce damage it would otherwise take from attacks. If you think that's cool, just wait till you see Froki's evolution. Why don't you try evolving Froki for yourself? So, evolve 3 Froki, catch 15 Froki, and transfer 10 Pokemon. Transfer 10 really bad Froki. Um, and then we also have like shadowy stuff. Level 50 challenge, let's just go ahead and see what this is. A Noibat. Do I have to catch the Noibat now to see if this is a shiny Snorlax? Not a shiny Snorlax. But we got a whole bunch of like checks and whatnot um, to do today. We're getting closer to a lot of this research. We gotta find seven more Kecleon. Hopefully that'll happen here in New York, but I'm going to hop back to it to try and uh, get on this route and get a Zygarde cell, maybe? All right, so we just got this shiny Froakie from some of the research, and we're gonna go ahead and use this guy as our evolution to get not only Frogadier, but also Shiny Greninja. It's not like a great three-star, but it is a three-star, so very cool. And water shuriken, you know, not a bad, not a horrible shiny. Like they really made the paler blues like actually pop somehow, which is very hard to do with a pale color. But let's go. We are going to see one of the best shiny starters, shiny Greninja. Just very cool. Very very cool. That is awesome. And like the red is like a real nice like crimson. The lighter shades of blue like remind you of like the pale shades of like Froki and Fragadier. Very, very cool. Has Hydro Cannon. Doesn't just automatically get Water Shuriken, which not uh, kind of interesting. It's a XS, not an XXS. So that's not bad. It's kind of cool. And let's see if the Go Plus Plus has caught us any XXL Froki. It has not. Um, but we do get a couple of shiny checks here real quick. That's not a shiny check. We, we finished up that route. The routes here are kind of weird. Most of them are from one garage to another. Um, and there's no like real like loop uh, route, which is interesting. It's like half of Disney Springs, the other half of Disney Springs. Um, but with that being said, we're going to continue going around. Uh, we got a Mewtwo from one of the research for level 50. It was not a good one. Uh, of course, you saw the uh, Snorlax with the hat, not a shiny. Nothing else really uh, that we got so far, but 
Let's see. It is almost the end of hour one, and we have 10 shiny Froki, which is kind of nuts. Thank you to the Go Plus Plus. And uh, we are going to get back on the grind. Uh, it is very hot, so we're also going to be getting water very soon. Um, a little water break. But with that being said, Froki's are starting up here, which means we got to hop back to it. All right, so we are just on the grind at this point. And I got to say, two things about the Pokemon Go Plus Plus. One, kind of dope, kind of love it a lot. It's two, I wish the one thing about it is a Pokestops only option would be amazing. Because um, you can be like, oh yeah, enable auto throw, but then it just prioritizes Pokemon anyway and doesn't spin stops. It just waits on green for you to click the button to catch Pokemon. Um, which is dope because you can use Great Balls or Ultra Balls to be able to like make your success rate higher of actually catching things, which is dope. Love it. I wish there was like a way to turn off like the Pokemon option. Just do Pokestops. Uh, with that being said though, shiny checks, no. Um, we are entering like the final-ish hour, like hour and four minutes left. And we're pr almost done with the research, which is dope. Frogadier. No clue if this is going to be a hundo or not. Uh, no clue what it is. Uh, but we did get the one shiny from the research with the three stars. So that's kind of dope. Um, from like research off camera. But now, wow. Yeah. Gotta love this view. Love this view. Um, let's see if this Frogadier is any good. Not so much. And then, wow. You made quick work of that. Why did I just turn into Owen Wilson for a second? Wow. Uh, Greninja can create throwing stars out of compressed water. When it throws them at high speed, they can even split metal in half. Quite the upgrade from Froggy Deer's bubble-coated pebbles. Uh, thanks for helping me learn about Froki and its evolutions, Joe, between Greninja's grace and your skills. I'm sure the two of you can overcome any obstacle. Maybe even split it in two. Ha. Now let's go. All right, so last little check here. I think this is gonna be a Froki, and then the other one is Greninja. Shiny Froki, let's go. Um, <laughs> very, very cool. Let's go. Oh my gosh, it is so bright though. Um, definitely had to spend like 20 minutes in the shade, like, <laughs> fan of shade, I guess. Um, <laughs> very cool, very excited. Shiny Froki, not great. But, we do get a Greninja check here now. Can't be shiny, which is silly. But, 11.05, this is either going to be like really good, or just trash. Um, that's what I'm calling right now. It's either going to be like amazing, or it's going to be trash. Let's hope for amazing. Catch three Froki, nice. Yeah, trash. Alright, cool. Now, we just go around and check every single Froki, and hopefully we get a good one. We've put out a bunch of research, which is nice. Um, also, it is three times Stardust. Ooh, 417 is actually like the highest Froki I've seen. Stop moving, thank you. Um, so this actually might not be bad. I'm guessing like 90s, um, maybe like a high 80s. Let's go ahead and check. Yeah, 15, 14, 11. Yeah, not bad. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go around for the last hour. Hopefully get some cool stuff. Um, nothing like amazing, though the Go Plus has been going for quite some time. No hundos, but we have actually, um, looking at our hundos, we do have a Sableye that we caught uh, the other day on the Go Plus Plus, and this not to which we purified to get the hundo which is dope i just like having hundos rain rainy weather i'll take the weather boost but rainy weather where's the rain i see absolutely zero rain not a dark cloud in the sky not even like a slightly like ominous gray 
all white fluffy clouds. Where is this rain? Who said it was going to rain? Um, but this does raise the IVs and uh, hopefully maybe we can do some hundo checking and some shundo checking. All right, so it is our first official community day back in the books uh, after our like a little bit of a hiatus. Um, and I'd say pretty darn successful. We are over a million Stardust, Stardust for the first time, I want to say ever on the channel, um, like over 1 million, which is super, super cool. Um, just kind of shows like how much I have played. Um, but let's go ahead and see if we ended up in the final hour getting a hundo. Not so much. All right, all right, all right. Uh, what about three stars? Now, three stars, I know we did get quite a few. I know that also I stopped after that shiny froki. So let's just see if we got anything neat. It's nothing like fantastic IV wise, which is I'll take, but Shiny Age Zero, let's see the final count, 29 Shinies today, which is super, super cool. Why is this one start? Oh, possibly some IVs for PvP. And let's just check out the rest for anything like super cool. Uh, hopefully, maybe something with some PvP IVs. Though, it was weather boosted for whatever reason. And, uh, so we couldn't get anything like great like pvp wise because i was like trying to get a hundo hopefully but no hundo but no problem because we have of course greninja and today we added a couple more but let's see not the lucky one there we go our maxed out 98 level 50 with water shuriken and can i use an elite charge tm yet i cannot so eventually i'll put hydro cannon on this guy I hope a beast. Uh, Water Shirk Head, Surf night, night Slash for now, but very cool, very excited. And I am surrounded by team leaders and some 10km eggs, not a shiny. And not a shiny. But that is going to be it for today's episode. But that's going to be it for today's episode. If you did like it, go ahead and smash the thumbs up button. If you're enjoying the series, please subscribe. And as always, God bless. And see you for that episode of Pokemon Go.